reference to Occultus Anonymous and our uh, Mage the Awakening Chronicle into the West. It's been a bit, uh, unless you're Happy watching Pride, this, like, motherfuckers. By the I'll time you see you. this, right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Technically early, but by the time this comes out, yeah. Um, uh, thank you to everybody who follows, shares, and uh, joins in our happy little adventures, and apparently sometimes spooky. Uh, yay, Ahibahu! Also, if for some reason this is your first episode with us, please go back to episode one, and you're going to be very, very confused. Um, and a special shout out to our patrons who support us monetarily. Thank you to Adele, Alice, Aiden, Al, Alexander, Alsrit, BBL, Drizzy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember you. Uh, <laughs> Bernie, Buck, Chris, Chris, Doc, Emil, Ethan, Jeff, George, I'm the Real 06, James, Camo, Cat Feathers, Klaus, Live Love Lesbian. Happy Pride. Milo V3, Moku, Mozart D minor, <laughs> Nexus, uh, Nick, Other Guy, Perry, Fug, Polka Dot, Hubris, Porter, Puppeteer, Riafio, Sean, Shaksara, Starfish, Terran, Terry, Thomas, Verhext, Vincent, Vortex Falcon, and Zoltan. Thank you all so much for your support. It means a lot to us. When we last left, um, <laughs> Helen, Helena, had come down the stairs. Uh, after attempting to summon a rank six uh, uh, angel with Ahi Bahu and the rest of the gang was like, we need to talk. Uh, and then we wind the clock back about four hours, five hours, where mm, a couple more. Yeah, uh, where because well, there was a little bit of time where Legba had yeah, to yeah. go search out a mm. thing in the Temenos and came back with a uh, gang. <laughs> uh, we, we have, we, we, there are concerns. Um, actually let's, let's pick up from there. It was a slapstick scene. He started slapping food out of people's True. mouths. True. Yeah. Shaking right, people by the like neck. Snacking. What are you yeah. doing? You <laughs> fool. Put it off. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. You but should. the rain cloud is so tasty. <laughs> Backhanded. Food flying all over the place. How dare you? But, uh, go ahead. Something wrong with the food? Yes. He takes a deep breath, um, and then telepathically he sends you um, an image of uh, a disincorporated supernal being. All right, I'm going to go kill him. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he holds up a hand. And then he says, um, until the summoning is done, I insist that all our communication is through our minds. Okay. Um, I will also remind you. We can't interrupt it. Yes. Bringing the abyss here would be bad. That level. would be our own actions. <sighs> okay okay so what do we what do we uh, there's just uh, guns are in hand <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> they weren't like, there and then they there's are. pacing <laughs> there's pacing back and forth like a the reverse of the duck in the shooting gallery right mm -hmm. uh okay we are ill prepared what do you mean he has spent thousands of years in protecting his fortress seat of his power and and he hasn't become an archmage. He has told us he hasn't become an archmage. We... I believe that such duplicity out of character is not above, uh, not one above of us, at this point. At least one of us has beat one of his clashes. Nope. Legba's legacy attainment just got washed away. And he didn't attempt to pierce it further. It just was rejected, which is the kind of thing that happens if you automatically win a clash. But Legba didn't investigate further because immediately after that, Aibahu said, I request that you don't cast spells. Can you agree to that while you're here? And we all said, you know what? That's fine. Okay. All right. But Legba did say, if you want to know, I might be willing. And then... Petrichor smartly was like, hey, not yet. 
Not yet. Fair. Um, okay. Then we have the next several hours to prepare, and we will be prepared. Perhaps there is another matter. You understand that the concept of being a guardian matters greatly to me. We are not the guardians of this place. And then he leans and inclines his head to you and says, uh, perhaps you are. Yeah. However, we are not the denizens of this place. This place runs through my veins and my soul. Yet you are not of the supernal. Questionable, but I'll I'll concede your point for now. Thank you. I believe it would be uncouth of us not to involve them in the proceedings. Great. I don't mind help. Or at least an observer. While we smack him down. And he says. He, he may have been born. In the time before our savior. But he will die now. <laughs> <laughs> he says. Um, I also remind you that I. Have acquired an inveterate. Aversion. to pursuing violence as a first course of action. I mean, our first course of action seems to be summoning a supernal. That's a part of it. However, I cannot countenance us ambushing him. I don't plan to ambush him. I plan to I... make very well known that we know of his crimes and follow through in my role as a law enforcement. <laughs> I was going to say Sheriff Isabel shows up. <laughs> it will like not be violence. <laughs> it will be oh. judgment. Supernal Marshal Isabel. <laughs> Very well. That's a character concept. Does that satisfy your... Yes. Okay. Um, and she Thank just you. like reaches down with the the barrel of the the gun that has um oh shit i've forgotten his name alfoff alfoff and just begins like scratching a fucking summoning circle into the ground oh that's cool that's <laughs> um just like little bits of of lightning flashing off against and lightning and sparks and stuff well, i like that um I need watches, clocks, anything, anything that we have that reminds this place that there should be passage of time. That's a that's a real good question. Do either Baba Sarah or Legba carry a pocket watch? I thought you did. Did you have your husband's old pocket watch? Yeah. You keep it on you, yeah? Yeah. Cool. And that's if um, you want to use it for this. It should be fine. But... Isabel certainly has one by now, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's will pull it out. Um, Legba, do you have something that you think would mark the passage of time? Three points of a circle would be stronger? Thanks. Do you have a hourglass? Touching his body and mm, he takes his cane, he places it down. Cane contains the links. For me, represents all of the most important. 
points in my life. And I once used that chain to hurt others. And it seems appropriate that now at the point where I am now so loath to do so, I carry that chain buried within this cane. I like it. Past, future. And then she puts her her other gun into the circle. Um, and judgment. Um, so I'm going to try and summon. Just a thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we're summoning a judge, we may very well be judged. That's fine. We're ready for that. I am nothing, <laughs> if not righteous, in this moment. <laughs> Drifter uh, looks off see. from the future. Yeah. There, there's a something, something righteous vengeance and furious yep. anger. Yep. Um, I didn't. We didn't decide we were going to do this far enough ahead of time for me That's to have done so math. math for. Didn't do the math. Like maybe like a four. So that starts off with 20. 20. Uh, you don't need to extend duration. High speech. Yeah. You currently have fluent high speech. Right. He gave, you a, he gave you that with a spell. And there's something about the... Oh, but I'm not summoning of forces. Mm -mm. So that doesn't help. Uh, no well, wait a minute. Um, it's spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Created domain. You have your soul stone with you, right? I mean, yeah. Take an That's, hour. That was, that, was, that was what I was doing with it. And it would be aspected to it because it's spirit. Yeah. That's what I was doing so with the gun. Yep. So you get minus plus, plus two and minus three. Minus three successes plus two dice. Mm -hmm. uh, so 2017 uh, backup 1819 for the other paths. Yep, but we uh, have blue and high speech. Which we is, both do. I'm trying to remember what that Net is. plus one die for each of us. So and it's minus. Good. I think Isabel has blue and high speech too. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what I said. That. Yeah. So there's a, a, a net total of plus four dice without any penalties. Right, but how For but, the roll. It doesn't change I, I'm the I'm thinking successes. about the successes. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, so. So we're still at 19 because fluent high speech doesn't affect the successes needed, right? Um, okay, in the 19. in the wonderful narration that we've just given of setting up the circle, how many uh, successes do you want to knock off for that? Um, I'll be honest, because this is kind of uh, rough and ready. Um, I think we, we will actually do the uh, intelligence the plus occult role. Yeah, because this is like we're, we're, we don't have time um, to really think. Would would y'all uh, assist me on that? Yep. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should probably have to make the final roll, but. Mm -hmm. Considering the nature of this. Oh. So I wouldn't guess this. Um, just, just into cult. Just roll real quick. Cool. Yep. I'm doing it. Legba only needs three to make it exceptional. <laughs> yep. Right? Because, yeah, mental and social. Yep. 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 Absolutely. Yep. Oh, that's there we go. <laughs> that roll at road. Yep. There we go. Oh, and I'll spend a mana to make that an exceptional. Cool. So Does that do anything on a hell? Oh wait, it doesn't. It's just dice. Uh, in this particular yeah, just... case, I will say that it speeds up the process and mm -hmm. okay, fantastic. No time. Yeah, fantastic. Definitely. Then. Ooh. All right. Oh, yeah. Five. Oh, cool. yeah. Uh, we're going to round that up to six. Uh, Yay. So that gives you the, the three. So that's 19 down mm -hmm. to 16. Yes. Three plus three dice, right? Cool. All right. And then I would get. There's no issue with two something's happening close together, right? Yeah. This is very separate spaces. Yep. Um, and then so it would be gnosis plus spirit. So y'all would just be rolling gnosis to mm -hmm. help. Mm -hmm. 
We can just do that once and then mm -hmm. just keep that for the same for all the rolls or whatever. Yeah. Just for ease of things. And so I've got fluent high speech. We said net of a, like a plus one, was it? For you? Or no. You, that you got plus two. Yeah. We each provide you with a net plus one. Right. That's plus four. Mm -hmm. And then the domain is all the, what, the domain was the plus two. Okay. And main gives right. you plus two. Yeah. Right. So so plus four base. Okay. All right. So y'all roll gnosis real quick. Yep. <laughs> There we go now. Then a willpower. Plus four. Four. Okay. <laughs> I love the fact that we're we're acting as if this is time sensitive. Right now, we got to do it. We got to go. <laughs> Before Ahibahu finishes his ritual, because that's the other. We don't know how long it's going to take. Gonna right? We don't know how yeah. long it's going to take, right? No, so. but as as players, we're over here. We got to go. We got to go. We got to roll these. Oh, decks. I see. What you mean out <laughs> of character? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Ooh, do, do you want? Like, do you want okay. nine? So do do you want nine nine? Nice? I would love plus nine on my dice. <laughs> when I already had plus four, so plus thirteen to yeah. my gnosis plus the spirit. It's okay. so funny because Theo and. And we're going to crank this out for an hour in an hour. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's funny because Theo and Legba are always like kind of like peeking in the windows mm -hmm. when people are summoning and be like, hey, I mean, we practice. You want to let us help? You want to let us help? It's like, no, you're a different path. It's like, we might be helpful. We might be helpful. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I got nine on the first one. Cool. Uh, how, do, you, do you want to. Uh, oh, what is it with extended rolls? I got to find it here real quick. Uh I mean, I'll just different with myself, summoning. Save myself the willpower of the thing that I just spent. So, mm -hmm. oh, that's right. It doesn't have the. You don't the get same. the bonus. Yep. yep. Yeah. Nope. Uh, two hours. Two yeah. Hours. <laughs> okay. So as you guys are gathered here, it in took and it took us an hour to get the domain up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's probably actually really close. It is yep. not that you guys yeah. know all you. And, right. and that was so, so we we have this mad scramble of like get the stuff together, put the things together. The you know, I imagine like Petricor is like trying to step into the spirit world, right? As the theorists trying to draw this in, and we have the Bastigos over here and the Moros over here. And it's like that doesn't quite work. Oh, that is a good idea. And this mad <laughs> scramble of motion, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. setting up this circle speaking and of course this is the first time fluent high speech has been used by petricor for a summoning mm -hmm. and i imagine most of the time when she's summoning a supernal being it's usually the time dog anyways mm -hmm. yep. um but here we are summoning this up using fluent high speech and man this is so much easier, so much easier. meanwhile up above you from the, the the little loft space and then up on uh, you can hear a loud Obrimos chanting, uh, mm. booming. I imagine Helena maybe even sings. Uh, she seems that type. Um, and uh, it's just it's loud and and intensely, you know, uh, 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 so formative orchestral. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, and and then there's this slap dash carved into the the marble flooring summoning yeah. um and then a uh, part of it is isabel like playing her flute and mm -hmm. like having one of the other two like keep a rhythm Ooh, with, like, yeah. oh with the with the cane yep <laughs> it's like mm -hmm. oh that's good like yeah. on the ground just yep. like keeping mm -hmm. a rhythm uh like drums that's... and heartbeats and whatnot yeah um my occultist in the showing <laughs> <laughs> And uh, just for the rhythm and stuff, like Theo could be dancing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Which is also very, very uh, thyrsus. Mm -hmm. uh, we're summoning this. We're summoning this on four, four time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um, yep. Rank four, it. four hours. Um, 
and uh oh i know but i just meant with the demand oh, yeah. so the total oh, yeah, total sure. amount of yeah, time was four yeah. you're right it only took three hours of that yeah. uh, but yeah uh a, a spirit of time uh that looks like what chris <laughs> uh i mean I, I love having the opportunity uh did not expect to um, <laughs> i have an idea Fire away. I think it oh. is a because um, totems are to think of, the most like yeah. spirits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it is a very like spirit like being, ephemeral, but it is the. It is like the spirit of um, like animals that are like nearing the end of their life and have like realized that <laughs> it's that like it's it's like, the elephant it, marching to the graveyard. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. That kind of vibe. Um, yeah, it's it's that sort of like like in the very like time waits for no one mm-hmm. sort of like and like I, I i think that's very like fitting sort of thing to summon of course um and everybody looks over at theo and goes what did you do <laughs> <laughs> what i what i was thinking is uh it could be a mayfly considering they're called the ephemeroptera because the adults only live for a few hours mm. emerge i mean they live it's for, like a like a year yeah, and a half as big, nymphs and then emerge and then mate slightly and then more uh slightly more person shaped yeah like mayfly mm-hmm. big like compound eyes and stuff. yep yeah exactly cool i like that reviewing my yeah okay how best to avoid offending the denizens of the shadow uh yeah um this thing that speaks with no, well, human mouth. Mm-hmm. Uh, it steps forward. And I imagine, yeah, it, it has, you know, the the mayfly wings as, you know, a cloak or, mm-hmm. you know, a drape and stuff like that. And it definitely looks like a mayfly, but it also has upsettingly human-ish features mm-hmm. and the aspects Ooh. of time yeah. to it are, are there. Um, like. Yeah you know the like it itself is ready to to lay down like the wings and things are tattered a little bit it's on the tail end of time we'll say and steps forward and immediately does this look around (laughs) where the hell am i like this is not my this is not my vibe at all um (laughs) And um and and Isabel just like immediately is like apologies for summoning you into an environment I would rather spare you from. An abattoir. Oh, mm. and we're, we haven't even gotten yeah. to that part. I'm oh, yeah, talking yeah. about the emanation. Yeah, just the, yeah, just the yeah, yeah. Um this is a place without time, and there is one here who has lived long beyond his own destined lifespan, surviving by the consumption of divinity itself. And we ask you to stand with us in judgment of his crimes and see that he is Rewarded with the end that all life follows. Huh. <laughs> There's an urge to make a joke about lobsters, but we're going to move on. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> um, kind of head tilts one way, another. It's compound eyes blink out of unison mm-hmm. uh, which actually yeah they hey, Ralph, do, do they that's blink wild. normally <laughs> <They don't> blink. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah. guys, That's just... really upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every, <laughs> limb, every little lens having an eyelid. Yep. Oh my god. Whoa, yes. That's even worse. Yes. Like, yeah, that's so good. Up and down the oh, I was no, just man. picturing like a I was picturing like a head-sized eye eyelid closing around it. That, <laughs> no, 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 that's no, worse. It's flick, 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 flick. Yeah. Yep. That's so good. Maybe like almost like bird patterns, right? <laughs> no. Oh, and you look no, close, they're actually it. human eyes. Oh yeah, they're not even Omatidia. They're human eyes in a yeah. compound. Oh yeah, this is good. <laughs> We're gonna do I'm more gonna collaborative. <laughs> yes. yeah. I'm gonna come back to Nomatidia later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm good there with you. <laughs> um and it uh it looks down and says you mm, no. Where is the one that must be judged? Upstairs, engaged in his own summoning. But one I have no recourse to interrupt for fear of the abyss, and no doubt that it will fail. In the <laughs> there. Yeah, okay. So then it it nods understanding the idea of of what you're suggesting. Um and says, "Very well. If I am to pass judgment and act as judge, you must ask, act as I'm trying to think if there's a better word than prosecutor, but we'll just use prosecutor." Um and bring me proof of these crimes. Very well. Go to the basement. Oh, uh, she just immediately kicks the fucking basement door open. <laughs> <laughs> so, you <laughs> open the basement and uh -huh. you hear shrieks and screams mm. from. Does that work? Does that work? <laughs> I'm like looking at my guys, like, does that count? No. <gasps> <laughs> no, you in. have to. Yeah, you you have to go down and bring bring proof. And, Great. Uh, yeah, it didn't even occur to me that there would be um, captive. Uh, can can one of you two please um, make sure I'm not going to get blasted by a trap? Yes. Um, <laughs> when the door is opened, does Legba's outward and inward eye suddenly cross the threshold. Uh, yes. Because I remember before I had said, what? oh, your your uh, eyes couldn't go down there. But I realized, no, Ahibahu did not go down to the basement because you opened the door. And yeah. Um, mm, so, I yes. Um, yes. Not being able to see the pantry. That. Right. Um, and yes, uh, you can see down. And uh, yeah, abattoir is an appropriate term. Uh, abattoir <laughs> crossed with um, a surgery yeah. ward. Um, Ooh. there are <laughs> because I know some of you will get this. Um, there there are bodies laid out that should not be bodies. Um, there and oh no, yeah. Um, there there are some supernal beings. Uh, because Legba gets this all at once. Um, yeah. There are there are tables laid out, and there are some supernal beings that appear to be inactive uh because unconscious doesn't quite work for these things they don't sleep they don't have another state of mind but they mm -hmm. just seem absolutely frozen and parts of them are missing um which are like okay that's probably kind of what we expected inactive dead something enabling for the butchery of them but there are some that appear to be uh well i don't know that legba would have seen some but in uh, Petrichor's studies of spirit may be familiar with the idea of claimed. Yeah. There are people merged with supernals. They're whole. Ish. Uh, their minds are kind of not there. Um, they're, they're having a very, very bad time. Great. Be a terrible experience for both sides. Correct. Yeah. Uh, yep. 
Uh, there, there are some that seem to be doing better than others, and there, there is one there um, that you suspect is probably, probably was a sleeper uh, being combined to a supernal being, and it has all sorts of horrific things. There, to be fair, there are quite a few very obvious rings of warding and protection, and thou shalt not pass bands, mm-hmm. uh, but not with space. Um, that seem to yeah. keep it in one place, but it is definitely corroded and altered the bed that it's laying on and the tile, the well, the storm cloud stone uh, beneath it and above it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. There's a, a cylinder of just real bad. Mm. So that's what Legba sees as Petrichor kicks the door open and says, hey, there's no traps down here, right? Does does he also hear one with long hair over the eyes, just oh, repeating no. the word Edward <laughs> no. over in the corner? <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> uh, you see Legba visibly arrested by the sudden wave uh, of intensity. And he says, um... Mm. The only trap here is the madness induced by witnessing these crimes. Okay. That doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence in these stairs, but. And then, and then he says, one moment. Um, and uh, he turns on focus mate side. I, mean, I guess we could probably, probably would have done that. Earlier, but let's just say it explicitly and make sure that he spends a point of mana. Um, so that prime is a part of it. Um, and starts looking at the stairs. Yeah, the, and proceeds further in. Yeah, the whole way down is is clear of traps. Everything that you can see are actually since you brought it up steps. Every one of the steps has a the basically the same warding that would mm-hmm. and made from prime that yeah. does not allow passage of supernals, um, mm-hmm. both mm. up and down. Um, gotcha. Yeah, dude was not worried about people going down mm-hmm. there naturally uh, yep uh it's just the supernals that it's trying to he's trying to control yep cool um i'll ask the two of you to like essentially make make me able to bring one back mm-hmm. past the wards and i'll do the actual like retrieval um i guess was the one that like I mean probably one of the unconscious ones right not I don't want to like accidentally get yep. whatever <laughs> yep um if there's one if if there is a uh what is the overall term for I know it's totems and beasts is it just or is it just animisms beasts? Totems. totems and atoms, right? Yes, it's just beasts, isn't it? Yeah, beasts are the general one, yeah. Yeah. If there is a beast down there, I would think that would be her her draw first. Right. We'll say yes. Makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, one of the thunder puppies. Yep. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's let's just go ahead and twist the knife. Yeah, one of the thunder puppies. Yeah. Uh, it looks full grown at least. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Um, which, you know, of course, that's one of the things that you have also eaten. So, uh, Great. yeah, have, yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, you guys remember a couple sessions ago when I was like, do you, do you go snooping around in the basement and you're like, nah? No, that would be rude. Well, he asked us. <laughs> yep. He was so polite. Yep. Um, and I did say, I mean, like I said, it, I would be happy to take a look at you. Well, yeah. Wanted to, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think Petrichor Strap just like vomits down the stairs when she sees yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, no, this uh, is this is this is some like, hey, it's it's cool that we don't have integrity. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have to deal with that. We just do acts of hubris, so I could skip right. that part. But then, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, she'll uh, sort of. I was thinking yeah, the it. lamb, the lamb carry, right? Yeah, the, yeah. Up. And carry it um, up and yeah it's it's actually yeah, they really like light the wards for a second yep oh yeah yeah that's true that would 
Yeah, because you wouldn't actually want to break them because that would glue right. on nope. Yeah, so yeah, suppress yep. each of the wards, walk through. <laughs> One step at a time, or at least just the, the first, like, two. That way mm -hmm. nothing, like, follows. Uh, yep. You put um, a hand on uh, Lingma's shoulder. Bob Sarah puts a hand on Lingma's shoulder. We can't leave them like this. No. But we'll figure something out. But like we, but we can't kill them either. There is mercy. We have a judge to determine the fates all contained within. Okay. <laughs> They're wiser than we are. So he, he says, <laughs> he turns around and he says, They know what we do not, but we are wise. That is the way. And looking at this room, I find it hard to believe even one with the wisdom of Solomon could. Find it right after. <laughs> he Rough says, when this guy's cutting them in half. <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what Legba, Legba, Legba says. <laughs> I believe it might be an untoward comparison. Yes. Yeah, so not, not, not the best comparison to use right now. <laughs> uh, uh, but yes, so. so Petrichor comes out and just sort of like. Lays it down. down. Yep. Not in the circle, but. No, <laughs> no. Yep. Uh, it looks Chunks down. Out. And, you know, for the most part, you have seen mostly non-emotional supernal beings right they are what they are you know yep. occasionally there's there is rage on mm -hmm. the insectoid face and like it looks down and says this is an abomination beyond that of the abyss what is this thing and not referring to it, the supernal being yes but yeah. ahiba <laughs> mm -hmm. um so I think that's where we time skip for just a little bit. Where, Helena, coming where, down the stairs. Where we have yeah. the, hey, what's going on? The time to... <laughs> Y'all got any more of that delicious food from earlier? <laughs> yeah. I'm famished. That was a long summoning. Woo wee. Yep. <laughs> Hope we didn't eat it all. Yeah. Which, yeah. Because yeah, Helena walks into insectoid supernal being sitting here, the dog laying on the, you know, floor there. Um, um. Yeah. In just like the most like yeah. calmest tone possible for Petra Kor, she's like, I need you to take a very deep breath. <laughs> uh huh. Is she saying that out loud? If she's saying it out loud, no, it's, 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 okay, she's just saying that perfect. mentally. Great, great. Yeah. excellent. Fantastic. I'm probably responding out loud. <laughs> we are going to pass judgment for his crimes. Okay, grips sword tighter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, yeah, um, I was thinking she definitely does not put it down. Oh, for sure. Which she's like sitting upstairs doing the summoning ritual, like mm -hmm. angel of the Lord sword pointed down to the ground. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um... just okay. I'm just looking at this pernal, waiting for um, it to tell me to go. Would you request his presence in the most judicious voice you have? Ahiwa? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Podcast just... folks, you missed the ash face of, I am putting on the professional face, the professional smile face. <laughs> Yeah, just uh, gripping the sword tighter and going to turn around and walk back upstairs. And um, Could you come downstairs for a minute? My companions have something they want to talk about with you. <laughs> you hear the sound of glass breaking and Ahibahu jumping out the window. Uh, <laughs> nope! <laughs> Jigs up, everybody! Uh, contingency plans these are the yeah. yes that's right exactly he throws down a smoke grenade <laughs> pocket sand yes um, exactly 
<laughs> there is a um, a weary. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yes. One moment. Because um, uh, as you had seen him, uh, you handled the the trial and uh, well, stamina, I guess, of the challenge without a problem. Uh, you're an adamantine arrow. This ain't nothing. Uh, this guy, he's, he's an a old scholar. Man. He's yeah. a three thousand year old scholar. Yep, he's been living off of lightning juice and not getting his aerobics. <laughs> he's he's drinking monster. He's surviving entirely <laughs> off of monster energy drinks for <laughs> three millennia. <laughs> Surge. <laughs> yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, that's right. Good pull, uh, good pull. So yeah, he uh, he comes the the <laughs> trap door oh, comes before up before he comes down. Can I ask a question as a matter of uh, mechanics? Sure. Um, this would be an opportunity for um, Legba to function in his stead here, considering the judgment is going to occur and he needs to protect the integrity of the judgment and the guardians is summoned here. He does have an attainment, which is quite useful. He can <clears throat> use secret door, right? Mm -hmm. So his fourth attainment, he could ward an area, maybe this living room, for example, so that there is no perceivable exit. Um, I know before you were saying about attainments and stuff having challenged. So in the course of those, the, the time of a summoning and getting ready to go, would Lego be able to ascertain whether or not he'd be able to make his his uh, attainments function in the room? Secret door would work. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. Um, the, Perfect. the specific thing that especially because you've had, you know, an hour or so, why can't I see mm -hmm. stuff? There are yeah. similar wards. Spells mm -hmm. are unable to pass through. It is, it is yeah. effectively a prime... Uh -huh. kind of Fantastic. ruling yep. thing yeah that's the so. impression i got and i just wanted to make sure okay so can't pass through so it's a threshold so within it's going to work fine right okay you are so, obfuscating them effectively veiling yes. them that's wonderful the yep wonderful yeah. so then <laughs> when, when he comes down the threshold right like but then you know activates his fourth attainment so that there's suddenly no doors and we're all locked in the box we yep. no one can perceive an exit a window a door or anything like that i love that yeah, and which is very weird for Ahibahu because he gets the tingle of his mage sight and then the door that he literally just walked through is gone uh, mm -hmm. from his perspective, uh, for yes. everybody's perspective. Um, <coughs> and he... <clears throat> um, I ask as he steps down um, that you do not cast spells within and you guys get to see him because you have the mm -hmm. stairs down that up that loft and then the other side yeah. of the stairs, he comes to the the loft edge, the railing, yep. right? And kind of leans forward. And we have the whole, you know, Saruman, Denethor, pick your baddie. Mm -hmm. Well, OK, we'll stick to Saruman. Denethor had other mm -hmm. things going on. Uh, leaning over his railing, looking down and watching his expression go from righteous indignation to oh shit. <laughs> A lightning uh, blast hits the wall like directly <laughs> beside his head. <laughs> well, to be fair, hey, you I told you the god yeah. <laughs> zoom past him because there's no wall. But yes, I do love the idea. Yeah, boom. <laughs> I'm talking now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he... this court is called into session. You stand accused of crimes against the divine, against the rights of hospitality, against life itself and like looks to the the, the mayfly supernal anything else i should have said <laughs> no that will suffice um she speaks a name uh in high speech which um most of us have been there it's like being called out by your mother by your full mm -hmm. name oh shit. yeah but it's in high speech and it goes mm -hmm. for for a minute. Mm -hmm. She uh, in other games. She true names him. Yep. <laughs> like the details of your life and everything you were and are. And. Um, well, it's weird because it feels like the last name, like you get first name, middle name, and then there's that last name that the the will be part mm -hmm. that just doesn't show it's like up. Cut off. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and. And he like again, you know, this he's he's kind of he's had had a, a bit of sense of humor, a dry humor. He's been pleasant um, and just the. 
color draining out of his face and cannot bring himself to to even respond to his name. Mm-hmm. And uh the the mayfly will just say uh continues do you have anything to say in your defense for the crimes that are laid blatant before me and ahibahu falls to his knees and kind of in front of the railing which sets up the whole like jail <laughs> kind of look mm-hmm. a little bit um mm-hmm. and he says i i only wish to become like you and like and you can see like we'll call it what it is the the obsession right mm-hmm. um we'll even say the madness that that comes mm-hmm. over it's like no he really did like there was some some truth this dude's got to be rocking like wisdom too yeah it's low um and and yeah becoming wrapped right and he's yeah. on that edge which would be terrifying if let loose in mm-hmm. this emanation realm mm-hmm. um and the mayfly just shakes their head and says you are not we and brings her hand up and just wipes and you watch as he into the end of Jones in the Holy uh, mm-hmm. Last Crusade as one um, and oh, just okay. dusts and in from just aging happening instantly and centered on him and then spreading out is just time progressing. Mm-hmm. Um, he falls apart. His clothes fall apart. The table the behind him falls apart. apart. The, the banister, everything starts falling apart. The spells around you have almost an audible, but in active in your mage sight, snap as they mm-hmm. break. Um, and uh, the door dissolves and the shrieks come back up. Um, the stones of well, the to, to clarify the marble um cracks and ages but doesn't completely fall apart um mm. and just yeah time just rots the place uh there's that i'm absorbing the- so many arcane beats right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all the matter this is fucking awesome um <laughs> oh, that's true yeah and just time is yeah time. um the beams above that were supporting the the bedroom and supernal summoning thing fall and turn to dust and ash uh, around you uh, before ever striking you. Um, It is, I mean, especially for those who are uh, religiously inclined, the fucking wrath of God. Uh, (laughs) Yep. Yep. Uh, And as the tower falls apart, um, the storm cloud blocks turn to cloud again uh for legba with inward outward eye all of a sudden your vision just shoots out um oh, yeah. and can see again which you know for you probably was like i feel so constrained i'm genie in the lamp and all of a sudden oh yeah. okay there we are yeah, uh, mm-hmm. yeah. uh as everything just opens up uh down below spells that were keeping the claimed together undo um Ooh. it does it it's yeah, messy. It, is, it is it is um it is messy um nobody survives yeah um, yeah uh the probably for the best yep um there there is a thing that comes out from the um we'll say the abyssal claimed mm-hmm. uh that the mayfly just points at Zaps. <laughs> and it just undoes uh though it's very un it's very interesting to watch compared to everything else which is dissolving and becoming aged or this one's like turning to, it's more that it stitches itself back into a hole that is then gone uh or like Ooh. um pouring con- it's like pouring concrete into a crack Right. It fills it, it fills it, fills it. Mm. it, And then all of a sudden it's just smoothed over as if it never was. Um, Just filling the hole, the absence that it was. 
uh, often for you all as mages, you get to see the abyss pull things apart. And right. no, 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 no. I outrank you in this situation, bud. Mm-hmm. Um, and it fills back in what what should have been tenses. Um, and uh, after a moment, though, <laughs> as Chris pointed out, ooh, mage sight, but may also feel like quite a bit. Um, you are left with uh, <clears throat> some marble tiles that have fallen, um, and then the ones that you are standing on that are aged and scored, and the sheen taken out of them, but they are still hardy. They're still stone, um, and clouds drifting away. And there is basically the stones s- suspended. Oh, she's gonna fall. Well, <laughs> in a second. There, yes, actually. Um, yeah. And the supernal being, like, with, you know, righteous vengeance. Probably not Helena's go to vision for uh, an avenging angel, uh, but it'll do. Um, it did the job. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, There's different choirs. Right. Yeah. Be not afraid. This one tracks. Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Call up Ezekiel. Listen, man, you left out a couple. Yep. Um, and uh, there is a sigh of relief, which is who we just done as an affectation. Looks to the four of you. Nods and then dismisses itself. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> no, my job <daughter> is... Uh, <laughs> Um, and yes, uh, as as Ligba or as Ralph pointed out, yes, uh, you can feel more and more of the stone and such dissolving, becoming into cloud. For Legba specifically, you can see there's that solid mass that you can't see through because it seems solid, and it is mm-hmm. dissolving. The cotton candy is drifting mm-hmm. farther and farther out. Um, I believe no, the raccoon's all- putting it in the water. Oh, <laughs> so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, I believe you all still have your wings. Yes. Well. Cool. Oh yeah, I was about to. I thought we had put those away, but I was gonna like real quick just. Nope. No, because okay, you guys had them. slept in them. Kind of wrap. Mm-hmm. Well. All right. So some people decided to entomb themselves Sleep in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which real good. <laughs> now for Theo, real nice. realizing what you were sleeping just above. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So um, the four of you, we just start like hovering, waiting for the floor to drop. Yeah, obviously and, collect our collect our shit out of the summoning circle before yep. it falls. Yes. Um, and the tiles on the edges right start falling, and uh, you all take to the air. And up here, at least, it wasn't too bad to stay aloft. You weren't fighting gravity too much. But now you are faced with the challenge of, well, that was our guide or the person who knew anything about this place. And we still do not know how to get out. Presumably, we can't just go out the way we got it. Because there, you walked in and then there was nothing behind you, right? It wasn't like you'd walk through a doorway. Ever since awakening, I've become aware of how much beauty and elegance and majesty that was part of the world that I was never aware of before. I'm reminded now that there's also a lot more brutality and vileness and horror that I was never aware of before either. Beginnings a blessing and a curse. This feels like one of those things that People walk away from and say, let's never talk about this again. But um, I feel I feel that I need to at least try to find out who his suppliers were. If they are within my order and the Tempestari knew what was happening in here. I will have my own reckoning to deal with. (laughs) 
<laughs> Tempest are you corrupt? No, <laughs> I'm gonna fix that. Somebody was giving him people. I mean, he might have been getting them himself. He mentioned that he, he left. He wasn't leaving. He wasn't. He, he 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 had left on a couple occasions. Oh. He's he's aged more than he was when he first got up here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but his oh, trips oh. are very very short. He goes out, grabs his stuff, and any age. Well, there's a history of people coming in here and never coming out again. That's true. Maybe that was supposed to be our fate. I'm not supposed to be. That might be what the reason a lot of people don't come out again. Mm-hmm. Uh, on top are of you just supposed that. to be as a as a reference to his intention? Even if he had taken those people two thousand years ago, he kept them within a place where time never passes, and ensorcelled them so that they were subject to that horrific abuse until he was done with them. So one departure to abduct somebody. Through a working of his will, not seen beyond his abilities. I'm just trying to figure out how he was getting out. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he made a bargain, a duplicitous bargain. Um, I think Isabel's kind of cooking a spell. While she's ta- talking about this, um, I th- I think it is sort of this. It's it's like now they're out of this like castle keep whatever and like feeling the wind and the storm again and feeling free and um, and everything. Um, I think it's it's like. Um, like the idea of the spell is almost like rooted in how she knows that she can like understand the weather that will happen because of her, her Tempestari connection. Um, and I think she tries to feed some time into that. Um, and so, uh, a bit of a, like forces and time divination of like trying to point myself in a direction of like the 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 right weather for escaping essentially okay i i dig that uh the 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 perhaps even the uh, the path of least resistance what way yeah. things flow i i dig that and like um, a little bit of fate too probably cuz it feels like like mm-hmm. it's got to be a special circumstances for this yeah. sort of thing too right so um yeah i like that um <clears throat> yeah go ahead and roll that because you got the uh i'm there uh, i gotta roll with fate if i'm including that oh that's true yep i roll with the lowest mm-hmm. but, oh, wait man. no no it, if it's a combined spell if it's a conjunctional oh, yeah, spell yeah, you, right, you roll right. the highest mm. yeah that is accurate man you take off a couple weeks because of storms I blame Chris. Um, <laughs> and all of a sudden, I forget how to play mage. Listen, it's okay that you can't get the rules straight because a derecho just came through your state. Damn, yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a exceptional success. I love well, that. bilingual just, pun, everybody. Yeah. I, I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, and an appropriate description because derecho is absolutely mm-hmm. the type of story we had. Um, yeah, exceptional success. Uh, recover the way to go. I don't know. Did you even yeah, we'll mean that man? I had spent one. Yeah, okay. I did. Um, recover your lunch. Yeah. <laughs> I paid for your lunch. Um, the Yikes. it, it, as soon as you cast it and let it loose, it's like, oh, that seems quite obvious. If down was where the supernals are. And where Ahibahu thought the supernal realm may even be upward is your escape. Um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Icarus. <laughs> uh, well, le- less that and more of, uh, for the folks who don't realize, 
what's going on. Um, they may never decide to fly up. And all the interesting stuff is down below. But now it's like, oh, OK. So we fly up. Um, and now I will ask, do you all fly up or do we songbird this shit? We're going to songbird this shit. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to fall up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, I won't even have you roll, especially considering we have yep. like, plenty of yeah. wings to Shout out to Eyed Peas. This way. In the 90s, we'd be falling up. Never falling down. True. Um, and yeah, uh, you you heat yourselves into space. Um, and guide us and glide and yep. steer. That was the word I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the four of you just like, imagine just because it's more cinematic. Random pop-ups. Damn you, Epic Games. Um, <laughs> uh, there's the slow, gentle acceleration that just speeds up, you know, gravity mm-hmm. um, until you reach terminal velocity upward uh, mm-hmm. and shoot out of the dissolving cloud of the fortress up into one layer of lasagna uh, up through another opening where you see like at this level or at the level Ahibahu had been, you have some interesting things like the storm dogs and the flaming mm-hmm. tornadoes mm-hmm. up here. It's almost empty. Um, there doesn't appear like to be a sunlight one. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like it's yeah. the very, very basic stuff. There is wind. There's occasionally rain. And then up through a large layer of very wispy clouds. And then you are out of the atmosphere. Uh, Your ability to breathe is not a problem, but the sun, which seemed to be somewhere, is gone and you have this darkness and probably the prettiest night sky you have Mm -hmm. ever seen. And you are just riding literally the only force up here is gravity mm-hmm. pulling you down. But you said, no, nah, up is up is good. Um, and you all just fly up and, you know, we'll we'll say that you have some duration on that spell. It's like, yep, nope, up yeah, still, yeah, sure. still, still the way to go. Um, and as you, you know, admire the night sky, you recognize that these are not stars you have ever seen. They're not constellations you've ever seen. Um, mm. It's just stars moving and then some of them get closer and you pass by at uh, we as people uh, Mm -hmm. in the modern age might recognize flying potentially faster than the speed of light past enormous planets. And then the stars are now behind you and there's nothing but blackness. And then fly out of the maelstrom or excuse me out of the yeah out of the maelstrom and into the tempest um bursting clear and yeah the spell however continues to eat you up so the four of you rock it up and we're like we oh we're still we're still up all right and cancel (laughs) and put your wings out like a parachute to catch you (laughs) yeah um, you saying we went interstellar and the only thing that would save us and get us out was the force of gravity. You saying that we had to come together as a group to solve a serious challenge. I'm sure. surprised we didn't run into a Martian. <laughs> Is that what you were doing? Were you just naming space movies? I mean, we, we got, no, we got it was two. all oh, interstellar. Yeah. Oh, oh gravity. Yeah. When gravity yes, is. Gravity is. is yeah, yeah. But yeah. 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 Okay. All right. But that's actually good. I didn't think about that. I was yeah. indeed <laughs> unintentionally <laughs> just <laughs> referencing <laughs> space movies. Uh, we so had yes. to make contact with a supernal being. Oh. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> all right. All right. Moving on. <laughs> We had a very close close encounter. encounter. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. I'm going to make you all sit here and go get a cup of coffee while you think about what you've done. Uh, But unfortunately, we don't have that much time left. Um, So, yes, uh, the four of you 
fly out uh, with your four sets of different wings. Um, and yeah, spell cancels, wings flare <laughs> out. Uh, and like from the folks down below looking up, uh, because there are in fact um, a, there's not enough Tempestari to make a crowd, uh, but the large group of folks who have been gathered near where you all <laughs> walked through Abigail uh, went and grabbed some folks. Yeah. Like, Don't trust me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, y'all gotta come. Y'all she gotta definitely come. is making bets. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and thank you, Craig. Yes, three does technically make a crowd. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. It, oh, it, it, that's what you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, three the, the three, excuse me, the four of you. It is also. Kind of circle your way back down. Um, <laughs> And yes, Abigail is there, uh, definitely making bets um, and uh, some definite concern on her face. And you haven't seen the disapproving mom or at, mm, she probably never had Andy. disapproving mom. She had concerned mom face occasionally. You haven't seen it in a long time, but you could see it on her face, the relief now. And uh, as you all kind of circle down Abigail comes over and gives you a hug and then yeah. slaps you and goes, Great. are you crazy? I've been terrified. How long have we been gone? Two weeks. Hmm. Two weeks. You're just out loud, but to ourselves, oh, we're going to have good. to make up so many good partner points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and then like telepathically is like, I don't know if y'all want to go ahead and head back and start heading this off at the pass. The <laughs> <laughs> Legba says, we might need time to think about a plan. <laughs> and I, I kind of want to see what she does to me. <laughs> yeah, fair. Two weeks. Two weeks? I thought you were dead. The only no. reason we knew you weren't dead is some of your spells back home are still working. Yeah. We were thinking of getting a necromancer. Uh, no, no offense. Brought one. Uh, you know, but Brought one. yeah, I, I know, um, but <laughs> do you have any explanation for why you went in, let alone dragged three friends into a death trap? They will we like to be direct. Ask, like you're seeing on the ground. We chose to accompany our companion. We chose. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. Craig, once again, <laughs> Good job, Craig. Good job. Is, without meaning to. The yeah. best part is, Chris, remember, right, how her throat was in that like scratchy state and Baba Sarah is in the mm. crone. So her throat is all hoarse. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um, Great reference. I'm Craig, just going to have to references. Just keep talking yeah. about yeah. <laughs> um, Great reference. You definitely did not intend it, but you know. We, we, yep. We'll take those. Um, yes. But why? My guardian supernal told me it was where I might best encounter another that would have the information and power I needed. Oh, we just, we just supernal beings say go into the death trap and we just do it now. Like at this point, she's she she's she's like she understands. She's just still upset. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, you may want to save your outrage. Oh, somebody else needs it, and like she picks the broom up. <laughs> She's, uh, <laughs> she's been soaking it in a bucket for a week so it's nice and heavy <laughs> um if any of you are possessed of a certain type of demeanor of needing a fainting couch you may need one <clears throat> excuse me what there was a I hesitate to call him a mage or a man as Creature. you say that, you watch at least three people start to leave. Hold up mm, right there. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you know what? Attainment time. 
What would oh I wait, no, I can't do it here. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I was gonna I say can't like because he he doesn't he doesn't have the astral representation. If he did, he would be able to create the invisible. No one leaves you know, until I told my story. <laughs> Abigail, like we will root we will root out the rot of the Tempestari at this moment. Because the tempest cleanses and new growth grows afterwards. Like you there can see, there is at least one among you who had to have had knowledge of Ahibahu. <laughs> Abigail gives you like this look of what? There was a mage living in the tempest performing foul experiments on supernals, trying to merge himself with one, become ones. He was eating them as food. Sacrileges of the highest orders, and he has been dealt with, with the judgment of the divine itself. Okay, everybody, we're, we're going back to the amphitheater. We're going to, it's story time. Petricor is going to tell us a story. <laughs> Everybody's coming. And like, Abigail is like, I don't know what's going on, but Petricor doesn't start this stuff up willy nilly. Um, and clearly something's going on. And yes, the couple folks who had started to drift away, uh, you know, let's let's be real. The Tempestari are not subtle people in any way. And so there yeah. are some arm grabs it's like, where are you going, uh -huh. friend? <laughs> We're yeah. going, hang on. You're not going to get away. Hang You're on. not going to get away faster than everyone shooting lightning bolts at you. Right. I was about to just <laughs> fucking let my yeah. soul supernal out with <laughs> a great big sword. Yeah. And it like, can fly real fast. Yeah. I was like, Ma Max I'm is like, no, I can handle this. I Basically dare you. Just be in front of them if they start trying to walk away. So uh, just. Uh, just for flavor, while we're doing the story in the in the mm -hmm. empathy, Theo's just going to be sort of lurking near the people that we're leaving, like being in their line of sight, just sort of this looming figure. <laughs> <laughs> Who has? Oh wait, no, you you still don't have death five. <clears throat> no. no, but I have a great spell just ready to go. Oh, I'm sure there's quite a few. Um, mm. Oh, but uh, yeah, so everybody heads that way and while there are a couple folks who were clearly trying to leave the area uh there are others who are the the side eye like there's there's three dummies who thought they could get away there's mm -hmm. there's others um oh, yeah. and there there is um there's an inquisition that begins to happen mm -hmm. we will we will yep. discuss later um yeah. but yeah, i know uh, it's probably not an immediate thing Right. Like it's going to take uh, some some doing and some honestly some politicking because these things do and people hide and hide their crimes and blame others and patsies yep. and all that. So it's fine. And they might have is, more power, you know. So yep. and this is this is where we also get into prime and we can play all sorts of stuff of mm -hmm. tell me flatly and mm -hmm. yeah, things like that. Um, so I think. Uh, Petricor will be remaining here for at least a little bit. Um, because yeah. uh, she has the advantage of having a very supportive husband <laughs> who's yeah. like, listen, you marry a mage, you got to deal with some certain things. Um, the rest of the gang, well, actually, less so Helena. Um, Theodosia, though, <laughs> Theodosia needs to get back. Um, mm. And Legba definitely has some responsibilities too. So uh, I imagine, unless there's some other reason, the three of you head back to Purgatory Bluff to play um, cleanup on two weeks of absence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would yeah. you want to keep this supernal? Can I leave it here with you? Hmm. Uh, my attainment to summon the supernal made of my soul, basically. Hmm. If you want to have it here as like my backup, yeah. Yeah. I, like that. <laughs> I, I, have... I, I feel like that's like a good like 
like my coven stands by me as I do this thing in oh. my order, right? Also, a impartial, in a little bit of air quotes there, uh, right. uh, executioner. It is, yeah, it is like an eight foot tall golden angel with an equally large flaming sword. Because I have the horse's of, dots. Kind of angel. Um, in my head, I'm seeing it as like a statue, honestly. Like a um, armored helmet. Um, and yeah, very still, very wings pulled into its back, hands out on the sword that is on fire. Almost yeah. like an animated marble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's gold. <laughs> I, I love the I love the idea of like you know getting everybody into the amphitheater, the coven sitting over here talking, and you know okay, hey, some of us need to head back, and Helena going okay, hang on, let me leave a friend with you. <laughs> well, okay, probably more e- more elegantly than that. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it's like hold your sword out and let it like become. Oh, just stand. Just comes off of you when you hold the sword out. It stays yeah. there. That's great. <laughs> That's yep. essentially what the spell is. Yeah, yeah it is. Yep. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, the, and everybody kind of head tilts and looks up. It's just going to be hanging out like behind <laughs> you and slightly to the side, mm-hmm. keeping an eye on things. And if you need it, okay. it, what does it say? Um, it acts according to my virtue and vice. My virtue is loyal. My vice is isolated. I don't see that really doing much. Um, and is compelled to fight against the abyss and its servants. Great. I would consider anyone abetting what this fellow was doing. It's a adja- it's abyss adjacent for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, <clears throat> that's fucking sick. Right. So we shift from. Petrichor and the Tempest Starry, which we'll pick up with later. Um, back to Purgatory Bluff. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um, town is not falling apart. There's, you know, a little bit of hubbub of the fact that, you know, four folks are missing. Um, though, fortunately, Jules is a very smart man and was like, Oh, no, uh, they headed up to the fort. Mm. Yep. Um, mm. They mm. headed to. Uh, they headed to interact with some of the local tribe for trade and stuff. Ah, that's actually, yeah, probably a lot more likely. Yes. Yeah. Um, yep. Uh, <laughs> Considering that's like been happening and like everyone like knows I've been having the meetings with their. Um, yep. And. Uh, uh, Okomi had been here Okomi, yeah. literally the day Couple before you ago. left. The something. day before, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Good, good cover. Yes. Uh, why, why did the teacher go with them? Shut up. Yeah, that's kind of a weird <laughs> one to explain. Kids need to learn. I mean, you have someone that makes fabric for clothing, you have someone that is educating the young. Oh, also true. Yep. And you have someone who is a representative of a, um, like, to minority stake in the community, I was going to say, is like yeah. the best sort of thing. And so it, it's, it very much seems like it would make sense from the outside of, like, like a representative of a variety of possibilities of mm-hmm. trade and, and interaction. Well, and let's, stuff like that. let's also, I mean, let's call it spade a spade. Everybody also knows Cloak is friends with right sheriff isabel and right yeah and akomi and yeah right. like you guys aren't not like you yeah. don't disassociate in your sleeper lives right, right. yeah so, but uh, also like in like professional life it makes sense also true yeah totally is what i was trying to get at yeah um yeah bipoc so, rep and also cloak is kind of like a uh a, an arcane diplomat in a way but no an emissary rather than a diplomat mm. Mm-hmm. Bridging ties, moving people around, spiritual. So, yes, Ooh, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so <laughs> Jules is like you know because um, you know we, we teleport our our ourselves. Well, 
uh, co-locate our way back home. Um, okay. And Jules is like, uh-huh. oh, OK, good. You're you're all back. What'd she do? There's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's cleaning up. I've been cleaning up for two weeks. <laughs> They're God. We found something horrifying. Oh joy. And she is neck deep in it. Sure. Yeah. Making mm-hmm. sure that it is well and truly over. She'll be back soon? Yes. Okay. You can talk to her anytime you want. Thank you, Ligba. Yeah. Um, yep. Okay. Great. Um, do you want to talk to your wife? Tell her you love her? I do. Fortunately, I have not her in my head and I can at least talk to her and hear her voice. But um oh, baby. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that right now. Um yeah Legba then also says this may be an opportune time to suggest this. If you wished I could also co-locate your faces if you wished to kiss and embrace. That is very thoughtful of you, but I can wait because I've been waiting two weeks. It's okay. Um, Theo, you Do it yourself. are like, How yeah, you're in trouble. trouble yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, in, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, I really couldn't. There, there was no spin. Catherine looked right through me. Um, <laughs> she should is, have made yourself more opaque. <laughs> she is. She is. She is a. Um, I wouldn't say terrifying. She's an intimidating woman. Um, so um, good luck. Godspeed. Um, she's more worried than mad, but I imagine you're going to get the mad too. So, um, yeah. Uh, Helen, and I, I've covered your teaching schedule. Um Thank you. You're, you're welcome. I love those kids, but you can have them back now. <laughs> of course. And hey, Legba. Um... Yes. <laughs> he just gives me a thumbs up. like, <laughs> you're easy to cover for. <laughs> I went over and told them that you were going to be gone and didn't know when you would be back. And they just nodded at me. And <sighs> Legba went walking. <laughs> yep. When the roads cross once again. Yeah. No, yeah. Um, uh jeremiah is um is doing well um uh oh you know what i forgot about that shit <laughs> uh, one little detail yeah jeremiah um <clears throat> i imagine that at this point everyone would know that cloak is spending time with these dogs and the coyotes the wild dogs and stuff so if it would have occurred to jewels to come over and give them something from time to time oh, that's yeah. okay with me in the no, story I, yeah i feel so, like jewels uh, jewels has like uh, it's dogs yeah. Well, yeah, Uh, Jules has like this little notebook, right? It's like in the event that everybody is suddenly gone for a day. These are the things to do. Mm -hmm. These are the priority list. If they've been gone for (laughs) five days, go check in on, you know, Legba's dogs. Uh, Mm -hmm. (laughs) This checklist of things to to handle. Um, And yeah, he has like his his hair is a little disheveled uh, bags under his Mm -hmm. eyes, you know, has not slept well. But he has held the fort um, and uh, actually like because I imagine you all meet up with Jules in his house because it's an easy, safe place. You know, you can Mm. see that his tomes of sorcery are laid out like he's been trying Mm. to figure out. Is there something I can do? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Just going to like sort of clap him on the shoulder and be like, go rest. I will. Um, I will. I will. Yes. He also must be need... taking notes. Sorry. Go ahead. Oh, do you need me to take the children while you oh, no. sleep? No, they're good. They, I mean, they sleep through the night and I tell stories and they're, they're OK. Um, I think they suffer less than me <laughs> when she's gone because she comes back with amazing stories and it's fun. And they don't know the truth. No, um, I worry. They're excited. 
and like the pained smile on his face. But the fact that the three of you are back, you can confirm that she is safe and alive. Um, yeah, I feel I feel much better. Uh, I will probably sleep here in a second. Um, bah, bah, bah. Um, her her deputies. If if there's blessings you guys want to drop on them, you know, because they're they're great. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and just like mid conversation walks over and just lays down. <laughs> He's done. <clears throat> uh, Catherine. Is I think she is sitting on the porch because I think we've established that y'all have a porch. Um, just for mm -hmm. he was going to as she's walking home, she's going to make that transition from Baba Sarah back to Theodosia. I imagine you do that before you walk out the door. Yeah. Yeah. But mentally putting herself in that mm -hmm. space. And yeah, she's she's sitting um outwardly, she seems fine. You know, um uh, rocking on the chair. We we don't quite have sweet iced tea, uh, but you know, probably probably some form of beer or something and rocking and Sees you walking up. <clears throat> I feel we'll just sort of kneel on the porch before her. Maybe help her out with her boots and do a foot massage. <laughs> sure. Um, and like she smiles. She's like, you know, this is the, this is the first time I actually didn't worry. Hey, I, I had I had a moment. Well, OK, I, that that that's a lie. I worried a lot. And then I had a moment where I realized that I knew you were alive. I knew you were coming back. It was it was kind of relieving. I was. Admittedly, dreading the idea that you would not actually come back, but I I I felt like you were coming back. And 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 I I stopped worrying. I just knew that you were coming back. Kind of, you know, relief. Jules said, you know, you were off with uh, the Native Americans. <laughs> um, but that. That boy cannot look me in the eyes and lie. That was an easily digestible falsehood. For those who needed that comfort. You said you were going to be gone for like a day. Had no idea how much time was passing. Not a, in a, we got distracted and lost track of time. It was literally, we had no idea how much time was passing. Why? Well, because we were in a place where you couldn't see the sun. Um, the lighting didn't change to indicate day cycles or night cycles. There was no moon. How many times did you fall asleep? Once. Just the once. So you slept once? in two weeks and like she she stops rocking and kind of leans forward and kind of you know looks in your eye <laughs> just slept once in two weeks yes how i look tired but well, i feel tired than you look uh sticking to her policy of open honest answers we were in a place where Time flowed differently. And that's a thing? It is a thing. Not a common thing, but a thing. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow, you're going to take me to that place. Okay.
What? <laughs> I believe you, but I'm tired of just hearing about this stuff. This is how you lose your wife. It is. Um, I'm not. I will get you there, but it is not my place to enter. I'll need to make some arrangements. Okay. Who do you, who do you need to talk to? Is it Cloak? Helena? Um, that would, uh, Helena? No. Uh, Isabel and Cloak would probably facilitate some discussions. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to start showing me some of the stuff. I'm tired of just listening about it. I don't usually remember exactly what it is you say. Mm-hmm. Theo is aware that they've they've had this conversation before. I don't think that she has asked to see things before. She's mm-hmm. asked lots of questions and discussed, but this is the first time where you have seen her not worry. Like she she has crossed a bridge, and I will tell you kind of above board. She has passed a breaking point where she's just like, okay, okay, clearly something is happening that is beyond me, and I I want to figure out what it is. Mm. So out of character. Time to go and, big or go home is what Drew's saying. Correct. Mm-hmm. Uh out of out of character and in character, yes. You uh Theo, like this is this is the thing that you have wanted and probably have dreaded. Are you gonna legitimately roll for it? Uh oh, we we there there there's some stuff we but uh as Chris suggested, and I thought was a great idea, um hopefully over the next week or so we will try and squeeze together maybe about an hour uh little uh vignettes um so we can kind of resolve some of this stuff uh we can see helena kind of around town uh we'll come up with some some fun stuff we have petrichor's inquisition um nobody has sus- suspected it she's literally the spanish inquisition nobody yes uh-huh. indeed spanish inquisition <laughs> um Craig and, uh, well, Theodosia uh, will have to navigate some arcane marital problems. And uh, I think uh, Legba will have a little chit chat with Jeremiah. Sounds great. And potentially uh, <coughs> meet up with his, hey, hey, why can't we summon Supernals uh, fan club? Uh, yes, we'll, exactly. We'll, we'll see what kind of stuff. More information, everybody. All right. Hot off the presses. <laughs> I just chat Don't with do them. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things not to do, but also extra, extra. extra. Everything's yeah. awful. <laughs> That's great. Here's some Speaking things not which, to do. Also, here's the supernal being who told me maybe we can. Yes. Look, I'm going to take that. The supernal being didn't say specifically as possible, but very explicitly did not say it was impossible. So I'm going to run with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely gonna run with chance. that. Yes, the whole, the whole give I've got my six inches. Give yeah. me run. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was say, the whole give an inch, take a mile thing is kind of fucked with a space mage. Yes, yes it exactly. Is. <laughs> right. Just give me a little bit of space. All I need is a little. I'll pattern it into as much as a, I want. Okay, as much as I need. Just give me a tiny bit. Um, but speaking of uh, going to the going to Metropolis and stuff like this. We talked about not talking about this as much. This is something that Cloak or Legba would talk about among the coven, but he would be very eager to share information that we led to Ahibaku being taken down. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Uh, yeah. Because talking about if, the if, horrors that we've seen, very different yes. from yes. we took this guy yes. down. This is a tower. Nobody knew about this. We took him down. Let people yep. know. Yeah. Because uh, that that's a that's a good thing to put on the coven's resume of reasons exactly. to come join or yep. team up with us or yeah mm-hmm. or to leave us the fuck alone yeah. yes exactly <laughs> or to leave us the fuck alone and the foreshadow how things are going to happen in the story as it progresses right it'll be cool to have that you know like marked as mm-hmm. this is the reputation well that's you fuckers <laughs> yes yep. yes exactly <laughs> yep ah good stuff 
uh, oh. R.I.P. Ahibahu, the no. person. Uh, that that Ash Ash is. Is. No, no, rest in pieces. Rest yeah. In piss. yeah. <laughs> the, the person that Ash said, oh, I kind of like him. He's weird. Yep. <laughs> and I was just like, uh huh. Y'all don't understand it. When we cut that last episode, we sat there stun locked for like 10 minutes. Just like, Drew, what have you done? It was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great. <laughs> and then, of course, you know, once again, another GM has made my character engage in something <laughs> like cannibalism or cannibalism adjacent. This time it was somebody completely different. How many times has this happened to you? This has happened like three. This is the third time third it's time. happened. Which is too many times. <laughs> uh, One time is enough. Yep. Three times. Starting to be a pattern. Starting to be a pattern. Am I inviting this in? <laughs> Next time in Star Trek, we're invited yeah. to a... <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Cling on, yes! <laughs> An interstellar feast. I'm not even going to ask what this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Thank you all for joining Vulcan us. Hunch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for joining is us. Is that a figurative translation or is that literal? It is literal. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, you're good. <laughs> uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, come by Discord, chat with us. Um, we, uh, that's www.yeetinto.space. Uh, let us know what you thought about the revelation last episode. Tell us what if you thought proper comeuppance. Uh, was allowed this time because, uh, you know, Ahibahu is dead, but his soul moved on to, uh, well, if you're into the, the Guardian perspective of thing, into the wheel. Should you Spit let him back? Wheel. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, if you want to support it? us. <laughs> Did it? That's true. We don't know. I mean, Helena's whole view on it was this guy has far outlived his time alive. Um, we're going to send him I'm not being the judge of your horrific crimes. I'm sending you to go meet the up one Peter, who, one who is. Yeah. Um, uh, if you want to support us monetarily, that's www.staylucky.club. Uh, Had a moment there. Um, again, absolutely not necessary. Uh, we do really appreciate your guys's uh, monetary support. Uh, let's us uh, buy art and updates. And, you know, I just realized, you know, what? maybe I should commission the Richmond mages i don't know why i just feel like you know the rich <laughs> i want a character <laughs> uh, <laughs> um oh anyways uh thank you all for joining us uh this is a very very good episode um and uh i look forward to the next uh the next arc because you know hey yeah we, we dealt with ahibahu all oh, right the seers and perfected suffering oh. Yeah, uh, that was the thing. Yeah, that's that's why we went in there. Right. Yep. <laughs> Next time on Occultist Anonymous. See y'all. See you later.